Hi, welcome back to Kolsky Drone. So today we've got the Battle Shark from Vizio. This is the 816, so this is the one with the optical flow. Now, although it's, I see videos of this and it's always grey, this is the black version. I, I didn't know you could get two different versions, but you can get it in grey or black. So the black version looks much, very similar, in fact, identical to the original Battle Shark. So, see what we get in the box. So you get a manual. You get the Vizio drone, so as you can see it's very similar, it's even got the Shark T still on it. The controller, and then you get your bag of spares, which is always get, set pop guards, set pops, and a charger. So this has got a 720p camera on the front, and I believe it's a 480 underneath that works for the optical floor. You can actually view, I believe, underneath through your app as well if you want but you're not going to get really good quality on that I can assure you that so let's open it up so it's as you can see it's a very familiar Battle Sharks um, visual shape should I say it has an optical flow sensor underneath which shows obviously the main difference on this drone and it has a fully tiltable it's a tiltable camera but you have to do it with your hand there's no adjustment on the transmitter it's a manual one it's got LED lights on the bottom it's got four brush geared motors and it has a very big battery so it's got a 1800 milliamp hour battery so they say 20 minutes in my test I've had 16 minutes out of it which is more than adequate for one of these type of drones in fact it's excellent let me just plug the battery in and turn it on the controller is exactly the same as on all the other visuals I'll run through it quickly with you though so you've got trim buttons on this side you've got take off and land auto um, emergency stop Headless mode, return to home, kind of, and then you've got speed mode here, and then bind it up. It's got speed mode there, and then it has a flip button at this side. So as you can see, it's got three speed modes, and it takes three AA batteries. Your phone goes in here, it's got a nice phone holder. This is if you're used to these kind of controllers, it's not changed at all, it's exactly the same. I don't, I can't, I, I can never make my mind up how much I like these controllers or not, but the resolution is good on them and it, you point it and it goes where it wants to go. I just prefer a different type of controllers, me, but it does its job. So, let's talk about the drone, because it is different. So if you've had a Vizio before, this is going to fly differently. There's no doubt about that, this flies differently. This has got optical flow. So with that in mind, so you'll see when I do your video at the end, you'll see it hover when I take off and it takes a couple of seconds for it to find where it is in the sky. So what it's doing is it's taking pictures and it's looking at the floor. Optical flow, why they haven't got it on the Xeno and even the Femi and stuff, it's quite expensive to do. So a cheaper optical flow system like this is always going to have misgivings if you like it's never going to work exactly the same as it's going to work if you buy something like a dji product with optical flow because the camera's nowhere near as good and it isn't probably taking as many pictures so you're going to see it unlike that in the air when you let go of the throttle it'll wander around a little bit till it's found its place in the sky now what that appears to do if you're not watching the drone or you're not used to this it feels like it's unresponsive and it's not going to come back to you that's not what it's doing what it's doing is it's trying to find its space so there's nothing wrong with it, it's exactly what it's meant to do, it's how optical flow works on these cheaper drones. Does it fly well? Oh yeah, really nicely. This thing flies so sweet, it's untrue. The optical flow, does it make much of a difference? It's difficult for me to say, I flew the Battle Sharks after this and I don't think there's that much of a difference. But this is smoother, so if you're new to flying, this is definitely smoother and you're going to be safer with it especially when flying this thing indoors if this thing indoors if you're on a carpet or something it's got some texture it'll take off and it'll just hover there all day it needs texture so as in does all optical flow so let's have a quick look at the app so the app is different that this one runs on so we'll just connect it up to the wi-fi first And the app you need to download is XS Visual. I don't know if you can see it there. Well, that's the app you need to download. And it is different. And if you calibrate now, it will calibrate the gyros for level. And as you go into start, it will open up the app. 
There you can go. Now, the one thing I did notice about this, the latency is virtually negligible. Even when you're flying it, you cannot see much latency. The camera was also a bit of a surprise. It was nowhere near as bad as I thought it was going to be. It's only a 720p camera with a low bit rate and a low frame rate. But it actually performs really nicely. There's a bit of jello in the shot. But for what you're paying for the drone, it's forgivable. And for the flight time as well, of course. I think it's decent. But as you can see, it's not bad at all, that. So you've got, you can control it on here. You've got your normal functions on here. You've got your camera functions and all the rest of it. And then you have your flight modes. So I'm into that, I'm into master mode. If you go into this, you can select music to put on your background video. It's all different in the app. I'm, there's a lot of features there. I'm not going to go through the whole app with you. But there's quite a lot of different stuff you can do on here than you could do before. So here you've got waypoints, or draw. Sorry, not waypoints. Draw on the screen how you want it to go. It's got gesture mode, so you can control it by gesture mode, so you can put two fingers to take a picture. The typical thing, I haven't tested those features, I'll be totally honest with you, I've tested it for the flyability. Oh actually I did test gesture mode and it did work, I put my hand up and it did what I wanted it to do, and it did actually create a picture. So, they seem to work alright, I haven't tested the drawer on the screen, it's not for me. I simply wanted to know how well it flew because to me that's what's important rather than the gimmicky stuff on a drone like this this is more important how well it flies and if you can get some decent footage of it and surprisingly the footage was good so I'm happy that I've reversed my image somehow how I managed to do that there you go um, let's reverse the image so yeah the app's decent I'm not going to go through the whole app there's a lot of stuff on the app well it's definitely something to play with but uh, from the point of view of how good does the screen look when you're flying, really, what's the lag like? Virtually non-existent, and I had this up to like 60, 70 metres, it was great. I haven't been any further than that with it. Um, and how well does the thing fly, and it flies well. So, for me, this is a winner. Is it that much different than a... If you've already got a Battle Shark, should you buy it? Well, it's, it does fly differently, there's no doubt about that. And it's certainly, it's certainly from the original one. It's an upgrade over the original one if you got the original one and certainly if you're looking at your first drone then I don't think you can do much worse. Much better should I say, not much worse. I don't think you can do much better than this. It does what it says on the tin, it does it what, it, what it's supposed to do, it flies like it's supposed to do and it's a visual. So you're not going to go far wrong. These are good drones, I've tested them all now. The 816 is obviously my favourite visual. The, um, sorry the 916, I can't remember which one it is now. The one with the um, GPS is my favourite but this would come second to it. I really do like this drone. Like I say, if you're new to the game, yeah, it's definitely one to come into. So I'm leaving with some footage of it flying and then the inset to that, I'll have the image from the camera. So have a great day. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.